at time you can get to your house and you feel so overwhelmed you feel so tired you don't even have the energy to eat you don't have the energy to talk and when you revisit whatever has happened in the course of the day you can't account for any single activity that has drained your energy or caused you physical exhaustion. in today's video i want to talk about recharging your mind by removing unnecessary things that are occupied Jen Mogore. I'm on a personal development journey and if you'd like to work with me please hit the subscription button and uh, place the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video you are among the first people to be notified. So in today's video I want to talk about decluttering the mind. Declutter is anything unnecessary that is in a place where it should not be in. So when I talk about mental declutter it's having unnecessary thoughts and energies in your mind that in return cause you to feel exhausted you feel overwhelmed you feel so tired you are unable to make decisions quickly or you take too long to finish a task that is very simple such clutter includes negative thoughts complaints the fear of the future worrying too much about the past or at times even anxiety for things that are outside our control. Most of the times, we are not in control of whatever gets into our minds. For example, in our country today, politics are ongoing. So there's too much noise for people who are campaigning and you cannot evade the discussion about who is likely to win. Also, the economy is very tough. So conversations about the high prices of gas and the high prices of Ungaya ugali are inevitable and they are all over. Traffic jam. Nikitu inakupianga shida unaombanga tu utafika lini kwa zina kuchosha. There are no jobs. So whatever comes into our minds, there are already things there is or there are already things which are disturbing our minds. In today's video, I want to talk about what it is that we can control so that we don't feel overwhelmed most of the time. The first way of decluttering the mind is by creating space for the things you consume. A good example is our inboxes. You will find some people subscribe to our email notification when they were in campus so that they get notified of job posting. Every day, that email has to send some like three job notifications and you have to open. Maybe you used your email to open a Facebook account or a YouTube account. So every time there's a notification on Facebook, it gets to your inbox. At times, it gets to a point where you have like 4,000 emails, which needs your attention every morning because it keeps on sending a notification, an email has been sent. When will you ever get time to notice an important email? So consider unsubscribing from such emails, which are no longer adding value to you. Also, if you work in the corporate world, we have group emails. You copy it in group emails and in a day you can receive like 50 or 60 emails, group emails, which don't need your attention. So when you have to scroll down to keep to check which email is meant for you and which one is not meant for you, how about creating labels so that whatever comes to your inbox directly is anything that is just meant for your attention. With that, you, limit, you eliminate the time you're going to consume checking on things that are not meant for you and they don't even need your attention there are people who really like taking photos and you can take like 10 photos of one event then you take all your time analyzing which one you're going to post one year down the line google keeps sending you reminders of photos you 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 took on that particular day and they are like 10 you need to consider removing limiting whatever is in your gallery take like two or three photos so that you have limited time to choose which one is going to post and also google will not keep notifying you of 10 photos for just one particular event you can consider turning off the notifications for example the linkedin the instagram the whatsapp because every time you receive a notification your brain feels the urge to want to respond and at times they are not even relevant things 
another way of uh, storing the energy in our mind or rather decluttering the mind is by clearing our physical places for example wardrobe kwa wardrobe yako kuna kitengule by 4 years ago and you've never worn it you bought it for the sake of your friends event what is it doing in your wardrobe at the moment every time you have to choose what you're going to wear on sunday or on a saturday lazima upitie hiyo kitenge and some other clothes which you no longer wear that's a waste of your time and your brain has a lot of options to choose from so you can consider giving away maybe it's in your kitchen there are things you bought when you were staying in a single room you've now upgraded you no longer need the basins you no longer need the plastic stuff but you have them in your cabinets and every time you need to remove a cutlery you come across them so you see them yeah, there's nothing you do with them so your mind has too much to choose from and these are things you don't need so you can easily give them away or resell so that the number of decisions you have to make maybe even the pair of shoes you have the shoes you don't wear maybe you bought them once they didn't make you happy and you can no longer wear them so every time you're choosing a pair of shoes you have to consider do i wear this one do i wear that consider limiting your options so that the mind has less work to do have you ever walked into someone's office and they have files all over files especially in the government offices so one small thing which would have taken you like 10 minutes to be sorted and as you like 30 or 40 minutes kukutafutia cause ajapanga files zake if you're such kind of people see you shred those papers you file away the documents that you no longer need or documents that are rarely used so that you save on time and the energy to look for one single file which you know its use is normally very frequent another way of decluttering the shit in our mind is by forgiving people most of the times we carry baggages of other people who don't even think of us for example ukona beef na mother in law every time you hear your mother in law calling unakwanga so anaweza kwa kitaka nini nimwambie nini ama ukikutana na mtu mwenye you no long, you're not in good terms with and you refuse to forgive them you have a lot to think about do i greet them do i turn back do i what what will i do with their presence but if you just forgive them it would require you less effort to think about what to tell them when you meet them we can declutter our mind by creating a routine have a routine of what time do you wake up unalalanga sangapi unaenda nga job sangapi unatoka nga lunch break sangapi when you automate a process the brain no longer have to think about it if you know you go to the market on saturday your weekends will not be finding you by surprise au taanza kuwekwa kwa form hufai kukua cuz unajuanga mimi sato asubuhi na raukia soko ama 5 in the morning uwezi nipata na kuanga gym I'm in the evening I go for prayer meetings. So when you automate things or you create a routine, the mind is occupied, the mind automates it and you'll have you'll consume less energy thinking of how and when to do a particular activity. We need to take good care of our mind by storing energy for ourselves. Mostly ladies or wives. We take care of everybody else, we take care of our children, we take care of our husbands. We take care of the household chores and at the end of the day you've done nothing for yourself you're so tired your mind is exhausted you feel so overwhelmed for doing things for other people and in return you've not taken care of yourself so uh exercise and eat healthy take sleep well because by the way uspolala ya kutosha the next day unasikianga akili imechoka Unasikianga maybe if you would sleep for 8 hours the next day utakuwa very active but if you don't get enough sleep you feel like you want to sleep for 16 hours to cover up for the 8 hours you missed out on enough sleep sleep is very healthy also uh taking walks taking nature walks so that uh, you are able to unwind you are able to remove the stresses in your mind another thing that really drains our energy is social media by the way, I spoke about it in my video titled Social Media Addiction. You consume a lot. What will make a status zao from politics to economy to business 
to farming to international news and you view that on people's statuses or maybe insta stories you get so much consumed in what's happening in the external world so that you you to the extent that you forget what is happening in your inner world and follow people who don't add value to you i can't emphasize that enough okay scare me i don't add value to you unani follow kwa nini whenever i post my my information will be triggering you and subconsciously that is draining your energy and follow people you don't like mute notifications of people who will put up business objects or commodities that you're not interested in or which are against your moral standards prioritizing things or even setting a to-do list if you prioritize your bills in the middle of the month nothing will surprise you landa data kusumbua utasumbuka na tokens cuz ulisha zilipa when they were supposed to be done if you happen to mismanage your finances then you will always be in a, in a rush okay credit i may call what should i tell her data fulani ananifuata sijui nijificha wapi but if you prioritize your debt so that when you get the money you know pesa yangu ya kwanza nafaa kuiweka hapa ya pili nafaa kuweka hapa vitu utakuwa unapelekwa na vitu in a rush another good thing about prioritizing is we are we stop procrastinating how na your last minute rush you don't work under pressure or nobody will uh, be subjecting you to very quick decisions cause you had your time you prioritized on what should be done first and what should come at the end so i hope this video is really helpful i hope it helps you declutter your mind and stop worrying about the future or even things that happened in the past and you're no longer in control of them reserve your and some energy for yourself so that you don't always have to feel overwhelmed kuna watu huka kwa ofisi maybe watu funga job five wao unawapata at six but wako kwa ofisi and the amount of work they are doing is just the same something else that helps me to keep on track and to reserve the energy in my mind is by deleting messages in my inbox at the end of every day i also don't want to keep revisiting my mpesa message or my bank transaction messages or some other mobile networks will keep on sending you promotional messages which you don't really have to pay attention to if i chat with you on whatsapp at the end of the day i delete that chat unless it's very crucial and i think i'll need it for evidence in the future then i delete uh, there are whatsapp groups maybe it's a land purchasing group you are you are in when you were buying land maybe three years ago uh, you are not in need of buying land at this point and you also don't want to miss out on their offers so you instead mute that group so that you don't keep on getting updates and it doesn't waste your time at the end of every day having 120 or 150 messages in your inbox from a land purchasing group that you is not serving your purpose at the moment i clear my call log at the end of every day not because there's anything i need to hide from anyone but i don't want to keep on checking who did i call and um, how much time did i spend on my phone that brings me to the end of this video once again please subscribe to my channel that one subscription really means so much to me thank you so much and uh, have a nice time